This is Beverly Peel. I did a video about her just uh, the other day. Very gorgeous woman. She was about maybe 19 or 20 when she did this uh, particular video from Jodeci known as Freaking You. And uh, very gorgeous. She was, she was a model. Very attractive woman. And looking at those old videos from back when I was a teenager in high school and, you know, all those great songs that existed back then that we could still listen to over and over again. There was Jodeci, there was uh, Mint Condition, there are various uh, uh, groups out there, R&B groups out there, that put black women in their videos. It reminds me of a time when black men, and I'm not saying all because I know it doesn't attain to all, but it reminds me of a time when many black men showed nothing but the utmost love for their black women and like i said i'm not saying that there are not black men to do that now because i know there are because i'm one of them and i know other men you know that do it as well not just on social media but do it in life because they they're black men they're attracted to their women that's a natural thing but looking at videos like this reminds me of the times when the, when black men who were in groups or even a black man who was uh a single vocalist would be doing videos and talking about love and stuff like that, singing about love, the object of his affection, and it would be a black woman. These black men will put black women, exclusively black women, into their videos. As opposed to the times that have changed now where we have ambiguously looking women in most of these videos that these black men are in, or light-skinned women. And like I said, I'm attracted to all black women. I don't care if you're light-skinned. I don't care if you're dark skin, I don't care if you're brown skin like me. If you're a beautiful black woman, I love you and I'm attracted to you and I think you're the most sexiest woman on the planet. That's just how I feel. And it's not simping to be in love or show love for black women if you're a black man. I would say it's simping if you let a woman take advantage of you and you don't call out on her bullshit like she would call you out on yours. But as far as a black man showing love to his woman, putting her on a pedestal over other women, that's fine as far as I'm concerned because, you know... We do have the most attractive women on earth. As far as I'm concerned, it's my opinion. This is my opinion. If you don't agree, that's fine. But I, I love black women, and I always will. And this just like, it's just, I was reminiscing, listening to these old videos, and, you know, get, catching up on this old music. Uh, I'll Be Sure was another one, Night and Day, another old song that I um, listened to a couple of uh, minutes ago. Also, Rick James with the Mary Jane song. That's a great song. I mean, I know he's saying about weed, but I'm looking at it as something else, even though I know that's what the real meaning of it was. But uh, damn, it was a beautiful time when black men were actually putting black women in their videos as the object of their affection and not these white women, not these ambiguously looking, uh, um, you know, uh, females in their videos, but actual black females in their videos. And I wish we had that time today. There are some guys that are still doing it somewhat, but not many. As they used to back in the day. But I tell you, you will see the difference of how things were back then. As opposed to how they are now, unfortunately. But uh, like I said, there are still many of us out there that are practicing black love. There are still many of us out there who will not go outside of our community. There are many of us out here who know that there is hatred against us for the color of our skin alone. And we also acknowledge that we have criminals in our communities. We also acknowledge that there is people in our community that look just like us that want to separate us that want to tear us down that want to throw us under the bus for the sake of white supremacy because they're comfortable in that system but this is just my thoughts on this ladies and gentlemen and uh that's pretty much all i got to say and uh like i say always i love you all i'm still pushing for you know unity in the black community as much as as possible with the people who want to have unity i still push for black love as i've been showing uh videos on black love and been showing or the promotion of black women and putting them on a pedestal because they belong on a pedestal because they are beautiful females. And we should appreciate them as men. And we should also be appreciated as men who love them. It should go both ways. So anyway, black women, I love you. And uh, black men who are my brothers out there who are the same mindset as me and want this oppression and all this hatred to end and want to just live in peace with each other and love each other. I love you guys. I love all of you. Take care. I'll talk to you next time.